Also, two triples and two home runs for Stafford. 29 RBIs. Mustangs is a team hitting 285, sixth in the conference, so right in the middle. Here's a deep fly ball out to left field. It is going, and it is gone over the fence. A solo home run by Ryan Stafford. Well, a smaller crowd here at Baggett Stadium because of the time change and the Monday afternoon start, but they are on their feet, and Stafford, as you can see right there, is pumped about his third home run of the year. Another deep fly ball back to left center field. This one is carrying, and that went over the fence again, I believe. Two home runs in the same game for Ryan Stafford. This one a two-run shot. And now the Mustangs are only trailing by one run, four to three. Junior out of Renton, Washington, transferred from Bellevue College, and he will hit a sky-high fly ball to right center field. This one's going back, and this one is gone. It ties the ball game at 4-4. Cam Hoyland with his first Career home run is a Mustang. And we have a brand new ball game. How about that? A pinch hit home run. Wow. That is just his eighth hit of the season. That is massive. One, two pitch. Down low, now the runner goes. Stafford throwing. And the tag is in time. What a play. Shields caught stealing to end the ninth. First time he's been caught stealing for the entire season. Look at it, it does get away from Stafford. Shields testing his luck, but the tag still appears to be in time. And Stafford once again pegs a guy. That is the 14th player that has been caught stealing under Stafford's watch. The Mustangs. Fly ball out to right center. Steals tripped. You have to wonder if he would have gotten the ball if he'd not tripped. They're waving around the lead runner. Here's a throw to Stafford. Here's the tag, and the call is an out. The Roadrunners cannot score the game, the go-ahead run here in the top of the 11th. Wow, what a break. Well, you can't fault the Roadrunners for trying after Steele's tripped, which you can see on your screen, but Steele's eventually getting to it. They would credit Gutierrez with, I believe, a double, but here's the Stancato, the lead runner, trying to score, and it's a no-doubter. Stafford had the ball for quite a while. It was just a matter of him applying the tag correctly, and there's the call. Gave up the solo home run to Cam Hoyland in the seventh, and we're still here. Deep fly ball to left field. This one is going. It's a no-doubter, and it's gone. It's a walk-off home run. The Mustangs win it. And the ex Roadrunner touches home plate. What a win for the home team. Their fourth walk off victory of 2024, and they avoid losing the series. That is unbelievable. The ex CSU Bakersfield player. Foils his ex team once again. Four home runs in this ball game for a Mustang ball club that only had seven for the entire season. And it is over with just one swing of the bat. How about this emotion? We'll take one more look at it before we sign off. Casillas just belted it up the line out to left field. Second home run that Viegas gave up. And it just went over the Seslock foul pole just fair by about a foot or so. <laughs> Even if it had hit the pole, they still would have called it fair if it had bounced on the inside by the Seslock lettering. But this guy was a roadrunner back in the 2020 season, transferred over after the COVID-19 pandemic, and is responsible
for giving the Mustangs the season series win. They are now in a tie with nationally ranked UC Irvine for first place in the Big West Conference standings. That is great sportsmanship there by the Roadrunners. Congratulating Casillas. Well, thanks to our entire video crew, this has been an ESPN Plus presentation. This game is available for replay and online streaming on demand on ESPN Plus. Thanks for watching. The Mustangs win it 5-4 in 11 innings.